Hello, welcome to lesson 26, Interfaces in C Sharp, brought to you by Ankh Pro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we're going to learn the introduction to interfaces. Right now, we'll understand what is interface first. Interfaces are created using the interface keyword. And similar like classes, interfaces can also have properties, methods, delegates, and events. But the difference between classes and interfaces is, interfaces can have declarations, but it cannot have an implementation. To understand this first three lines, first three statements, we'll jump into Visual Studio and we'll create an interface. How do I create an interface? Interface is created using the interface keyword. I'm having that and I'll create an interface of employee. And this is how you create an interface. If I just remove this I, also this is an interface, but I just represent that this is an interface employee. So I have to use I after before and before you name a interface. It represents that this employee is an interface employee. Okay. Now we'll come back into the presentation. Here we saw in the third line that interfaces second line we saw, we saw that cl interfaces like classes can have properties, methods, delegates and events, but the difference between the classes and interfaces is classes can have declarational implementation also but the interfaces can have only declarations we'll see it now here it can have a method as a class so what I'll do is I'll use void I'll use print method then I'll write the definition of it now when I build this what will happen it just tells us that interface employee cannot have a implementation it can be just only declared we'll wait for that my build has started you can observe the build failed it's telling that interface members cannot have a definition it means that you can't give a definition for an print method here itself so what I'll do I'll just remove this and I'll just paste a semicolon this is how you create an interface and a member of an interface can have only a definition you can only declare a method but you can't uh, implement it on you can't declare you we'll jump back in the presentation you can have only a declaration but you can't implement anything in this method as we saw here we are having a print method but we don't have an, any implementation just we have a declaration this is how the interface works and we'll come back here we'll jump into next statement interface members are public by default and they do not allow explicit access modifiers it means that in our example the interface member here is a method called print method here it does not have any access modifier for example public private or something like that if I give public now when I build this project what it tells the modifier public is not valid for this item it means that whatever the members which are there in this interface I employee cannot have the access modifiers by default these members are public we should not explicitly specify the access modifier to them this is the meaning of this sentence interface members are public by default they do not allow explicit access modifiers and next sentence is if a class or a struct inherits from an interface it must provide an implementation for all interface members otherwise we will get a compile time error to understand this sentence we'll jump into Visual Studio here for example I'm having a class called owner owner what I'll do I'll having just implemented what I'll do is for this class I'll inherit for this class I'll inherit this I employee interface I employee interface okay now when I build this project it just throws me error telling that owner does not implement interface member it means that it's not just you inherit that interface but also I have to implement the members of it how do I implement it's very simple what I'll do is public void print just print this is an interface member this is so sorry this is I have to pass a string okay this is 
interface print method okay now what I'll do is I'll just run this program when I run this program what the output is we'll just wait for that my file is being scanned by Avast let's wait for that and when it gives the output it just tells this is okay I have to create an object of it in my main method okay then I'll then I'll then this will get printed okay then how do I do that it's very simple owner o is equal to new owner I'm creating an object of okay o dot when I call this print method it obviously I have to print that this is an interface print method now the overall explanation of this sentence is if a class or a struct inherits from an interface it must provide implementation for all interface members otherwise we'll get a compile time error it means that I'm having an interface employee I employee and I'm having a class called owner for this owner class and I'm inheriting this I employee the thing is that this class should provide implementation for the method which is present in the interface then only it can inherit it otherwise it will throw you a compile time error okay we'll jump back into presentation okay class or struct can inherit from more than one interface at the same time but whereas class cannot inter inherit from more than one class at the same time it means that we'll come back here uh, I'll create another interface control C control V this is employee 2 and this is employee 1 okay now you can observe what I'll do is I'm a class owner to this class owner I, I'll inherit both the interfaces I employee comma I employee 2 you can observe here now I want to provide implementation for both the methods that is this is print1 method and this is print2 method I have to provide implementation for both control C then I have to be control V this is print1 and this is print2 this is interface print1 method and this is interface print2 method you can observe here for the class owner I have inherited two interfaces that is I employee 1 and I employee 2 interface employee 2 you can observe here uh, multiple interfaces have inherited to a single class owner and this works fine when I go and call those methods in the main method what I'll do is o dot print to okay now when I run this program you can observe here this is interface print1 method and this is interface print2 method what I'm trying to tell you is a class can inherit class or a struct can inherit multiple interfaces but the next thing what I'm trying to show you is it's going to okay what I'll do is I'm having another class okay I'm having another class called called CEO for this class I want to make this class public okay I want to make this also public okay for this CEO class I am inheriting I am inheriting owner okay and what I'll do is I'll create another class before this what I'll do is just copy this and I'll paste here this is CEO I don't want CEO manager this is manager and manager okay the CEO can now what I'll do is I've inherited already a owner to a CEO now next thing what I'm trying to do here is I'm going to inherit manager also let's see what happens manager when I'm trying to do that now when I build this control shift P it just tell throw me error telling that class CEO cannot have multiple base classes that is owner and manager it means that class cannot inherit multiple classes to it but 
class can inherit multiple interfaces to it you can observe here for the class owner i have inherited multiple interfaces but when i try to inherit multiple classes to the class it is just throwing me error telling that it cannot do multiple inheritance that is the meaning of this sentence a class or a struct can inherit from more than one interface at the same time but whereas a class cannot inherit from more than one class at the same time that that's what we saw in the example and interfaces can inherit from other interfaces a class that inherits this interface must provide implementation to all for all interface members in the entire interface in, in inheritance chain to understand this we'll jump into visual studio for example what i'll do is i'll just remove all these methods okay i'll interf implement this i'll i employ one i'll implement i employ one and i'll just remove what i'm trying to do here is i'm just trying to inherit only i employee 2 but the thing is but the thing is when i i employee 2 it tells Celsius owner does not implement interface i employee 1 because i employee 2 as a parent class i employee 1 and this i employee 1 class interface employee 1 is having a method print 1 which is not implemented in the class owner because i employee 2 is inherited from i employee 1 so what i'm trying to do, tell you is if you are inheriting a in interface such that the interface is interface should inherit all the members which previously it has inherited from the other interfaces also so here what i have to do is i have to implement this implement this void print one method also then it will not throw me error see the error went let's quickly went what i'm trying to do here is just one sec okay now what I when I run this program, what happens? No, it's throwing me error telling that okay, class cannot have multiple inheritance. Yes, it's correct. Okay, I'm done with this. Okay, uh, I was just here. I have to implement this. Then I want to inter inherit this class also. This interface here. Okay, once I'm inheriting, if I call if I inherit I employee 2 to the class owner then I have to implement both the methods which are present in print1 and print2 as well okay now it is done when I run this program it just provide telling now why because okay oh the, the problem is here I have to, I'll just erase these classes it works fine okay control F5 the build has succeeded you can observe this interface print one method and this is interface print two method the overall meaning of this example is if you are inheriting an interface and that interface has been inherited from other interface the thing is the class which is inheriting that interface should implement the methods for both the interfaces also so you can observe here i am just inherited only i employee 2 but i am implementing methods print1 and print2 as well that is the overall meaning of this sentence okay in the instance of an interface cannot be created but an interface reference variable can point to a derived class object to understand it very clearly what i will do is okay now i'll create an instance of an interface i employee 1 i employee 1 e is equal to new I employee one but when I do this it will throw me an error telling that cannot create an instance of an abstract class or interface we'll see what is abstract class in the coming session but why it is throwing error at this point of time since interface it can have methods pr properties but it does not have an implementation since creating an instance of that interface it's not usable so it does not allow to you to create an object instead you can refer to the derived object for example i can refer here to a um, i can create a derived object of owner okay i can refer to your owner this works fine okay that is the meaning of this sentence instance of the very instance of the interface cannot be created but an instance interface reference variable can point to a derived class object that's what we are doing we are pointing to a derived class object that is owner 
now once I'm done with this I can key dot I'm, I'm getting this print one because I'm creating an object with reference variable of I employee one to a derived class object owner so when I run this it prints me this is an interface method interface print one method that's all that's the meaning of this instance of an interface cannot be created but an interface reference variable can point to a derived class object okay that's that's all about interfaces we'll see in the coming session related to interfaces thank you for hearing have a great day please subscribe to anchor training below